In the first week of November, Streamlit released the State of LLM apps in the form of an interactive infographic report that provides a look at large language model trends from over 20,000 Streamlit apps created by more than 13,000 developers. Such data apps deployed on the Streamlit Community Cloud were analyzed and insights are summarized in this report. The report has been shared by our amazing senior developer advocate, Charlie Workner, who had provided an excellent overview video on Twitter. And also tweeted by Adrian Troy, one of the Streamlit co-founder. And so let's take a look at the app. So if you head over to stateoflm.streamlit.app, links will be provided in the video description. You're going to see that this interactive report was created using Streamlit and deployed on the Streamlit Community Cloud. And this particular report provides you an exploration of emerging trends, tools, and also use cases in large language model powered apps which includes more than 21,000 apps built in Streamlit from over 13,000 developers. So what a better way to show this report than creating the report itself using Streamlit in an interactive data app. So let's take a look here. In the left-hand side here, you're gonna see the sidebar, which provides a navigation of this entire report. So the sidebar here will open by default, and then you could collapse it so that the contents would span the entirety of the pages width. So if you scroll down here, or you could also click on this anchor, you're going to hop on to the respective sections. Here is the key takeaway section. So these are the summary of the key takeaways, and they are conveniently categorized according to the various components of a typical LOM powered app. And this includes large language models, LOM orchestration, vector retrievals, and also the chatbot component. This provides an overview that was mentioned earlier that more than 13,000 developers had created more than 21,000 Streamlit apps that are powered by large language models. And if you hover your mouse over the line chart, you're going to see the respective values for each of the data points, where each of the data points represents a seven day week. And it should be noted that earlier on in the key takeaways, if you click on one of the links button here, you're going to hop over to the respective section. Let's have a look at the LLM adoptions at a glance. So this table or data frame shows the percent usage of the various LLM tool in a typical LLM powered app. And they are categorized accordingly, as mentioned earlier on, as large language model, LLM orchestration, and also vector retrieval. And Streamlit is the visual UI that serves as the front end and also relaying the interaction between the user and the backend processing. Scroll further. In the top models here, you're going to see all of the top large language models. And if you select one of the options here, Let's say we take away OpenAI, then we want to see the remaining large language models. Then you're going to see that the plot here has been interactively regenerated to reflect the data filtering provided in this multi-select box. And instead of the units as the count, you could also see it in the percentage usage, which will in real time regenerate the plot accordingly. And then here in the subsections, we could also see the large language models categorized accordingly to the proprietary or the open source category. And then we get to see the trends of both categories. And then as mentioned earlier, you could also modify the selections that are in the proprietary category and also in the open source category. It is also interactive in terms of the unit. In a similar fashion, the same line chart and interactivity is provided for the TARP orchestration tools here as well. So here you can see that 50% of apps are using LLM orchestration and that earlier on, more than three quarters of LLM powered apps are using proprietary large language models with OpenAI accounting for a larger market share owing to the first market mover of its flagship product, ChatGPT. 
if we scroll down, then we're going to have a look at the vector magic, whereby 20% of apps are using vector retrieval. And here we conveniently categorize them accordingly to all of the vector retrieval tools, to the vector databases, vector search, and also the proprietary open source categories. And they accounted for 13% for the open source. And if we have a look at the chatbot functionality in a Streamlit app, whereby we discovered that 28% of the total apps are actually chatbots, whereby they are using the st.chat input widget, where users are interactively interacting with the chatbot Streamlit app. However, a larger portion accounting for about 72% of all apps powered by LLM use simple text inputs with a single objective, which means that users provide their prompt input and the app will generate the LLM generated response. So no interaction is required. And then, interestingly, we're gonna see that the text input widget in the top line here has a gradual decline in the trend, whereas the chatbot functionality starting from roughly 20% has an increase to approximately 37%. But then in general, if you consider the entirety of the data here, 28% are using chatbots. But in recent weeks, a little bit over than a third or 37% are using chatbot functionality. So a gradual decline and a gradual increase of the text input and chatbot functionality respectively. And here comes the fun part. This is the gallery of LM powered apps. And here are the instructions. So what you could do here is in step one, you want to select the library that you want to view. Let's say that we want to view Anthropic. And then you want to select the type of app. Let's say you want to have a chatbot. And then wait for a few moments where this will be calculated in real time. And then you're going to see the apps displayed in the data frame. So here are the top apps using Anthropic in the LM examples created by the Streamlit team, accounting for over 150,000 cumulative views. And the top five apps are displayed here with the respective screenshot of the Streamlit app, along with the cumulative views data stats. And you can see here that apps that are using Anthropic and also having the chatbot functionality had 99 public apps. And feel free to play around with this data filter so that you could see all of the amazing LM powered apps that the community had created. So have a look at the concerns revolving around building with LLMs. So in June, 2023, Streamlit asked the question in a survey, what is your biggest concern with building LLM apps? And over 980 respondents from the Streamlit community from either Twitter, LinkedIn, and also the YouTube community function had answered and the majority expressed concern over trust. Is the LM response accurate? And also privacy is the number two. Is my data safe? Number three corresponds to the cost because AI isn't cheap. And finally, AI as a specialized skill requires a lot of learning because the field is continuously evolving and new trends are emerging at all times. So this keeps the developers on their toes. And here is the fundamental LLM app architecture. So you're going to see here that we have the visual user interface. And in this example here is the chatbot functionality built in Streamlit. And so users will provide their prompt input, and then it will be sent for processing on the back end in the Streamlit app. And this involves using large language models, LLM orchestration, and also vector retrieval. And then once a response has been generated, it is then sent back to the Streamlit app for display using one of the several output widgets. And for more information on each of these components mentioned in this illustration, we have a summary of the four categories. And this is using the expander box. So about Streamlit, as you know, it is a low code web framework and it allows you to quickly prototype a data app. And in this age of large language model, you could easily spin up a LM app in no time. And there is support from several amazing tools in the LM space as mentioned in this interactive infographic report. 
And finally, here we provided the details on the methodology that was used in the creation of this interactive infographic data app using Streamlit and Pure Python. And if you like this app, please drop your comments and also suggestion. If you click on it, you could provide your suggestions here and hit on submit. And this was created using the TrueBricks component. So that's the wrap for the overview of the State of LOM apps 2023 from insights of over 21,000 apps built in Streamlit from over 13,000 developers where apps are hosted on the Streamlit community cloud. If all of this sounds like fun, it is. And you could create your own LOM powered app using Streamlit and all of the amazing tools mentioned herein. And you could easily deploy it on the Streamlit community cloud platform. Best of all, it's for free for sharing your amazing apps. And details for deploying on the community cloud will be provided in the video description as a prior tutorial video was created on this YouTube channel. So links will be provided there. So make sure to check it out. And finally, if you found this video helpful, please smash the like button, share it with your friends, and happy streamlighting.